Hello, welcome to the online Creating a Resume course through Coursera. My name is Zach Slabaugh. I will be your guide through this project-based learning experience. Project-based learning means that by the end of this course, you will have your very own project, a completed resume. The modules are set up in a way so that even if you're creating your first ever resume, or if you've had a couple of resumes already and you're looking to improve your document, you should be able to get some good information from the course. So let's jump right in and look at some finished products of resumes and talk about how we are going to arrive at a similar completed product. We are looking at some of our completed projects. All of the information on these samples have been altered to protect the innocent, and we might even see some of these samples in more detail later on in the course to help us illustrate the important concepts of resume building. It is important to remember your resume is a cornerstone of a successful job search. The resume, while important, is not always the sole decision-making piece when an employer is considering a hire. There is always the interview, but usually it takes a well-written, targeted resume to get you to the interview. Sometimes it is helpful to think of the resume as an advertisement. This is your one, or sometimes two, page document detailing why you are a good fit for that opportunity. It is a living document, which means that there are very likely changes happening each time you make a submission on your resume. Obvious things could change for each submission, like an objective statement, or you could make an all-star resume by considering the accomplishments and skills you have developed and make sure they meet the job posting which you are responding to. Toward the end of the course, you will be peer reviewing resumes with your classmates. This is the rubric which we are providing for your peer review process. You can see there are a number of different categories, all of which we will be discussing at some point during this course through the modules. Please feel free to download the rubric in this module for a closer look than the video is providing at this moment. So in conclusion of Module 1, welcome to the course. I look forward to helping you craft your very first resume, or if you've already had a resume and you're looking to make some tweaks, I look forward to helping you with that as well. So in the next module, in Module 2, we'll be talking more about how to organize the resume and where to start and how to get all the information on paper. So please check out the rest of the information available to you in Module 1, and we will resume in Module 2.